Hi there, I'm Tommy Larkin, owner and chief experience officer of Optimal Movement Fitness and Yoga. In today's tweak of the week, we'll enjoy a little bed yoga. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Now, I know what you're thinking. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me today. Now, today's topic is not what you think. It's simply a wake-up routine you do starting in your bed. It's very simple and one which helps wake you up and shake off the effects of Mr. Sandman. Before we get into the flow of practice, let me just say if you have a partner sharing your bed, do be aware of where they are on the mattress. Last thing you want to do is bother them if they are still sawing off the Z's. The flow is very simple and easy. It's not about pushing the limit or striving to go deeper. It's actually better to allow your body to tell you how far to move in each position. There are seven total positions and the first two are done lying in the bed. The next three are in sitting on the side of the bed or in a chair if your bed is too high. The last two are done standing up. If you want to try long and it's the middle of the day, simply join me on the floor for the first part. It's where I'll actually be demonstrating from to start. Then a chair or a stool for the second portion will work just fine. In quick review, we start twisting with bent knees. Then we do the twist with only one knee bent. We then sit up and do a seated forward fold. The next is a forward fold with one leg bent. Then we do a little eagle pose in a seated position with a twist. After we stand up, we stretch our arms wide, opening the front of the chest and placing the hands on the hips, we add a little back bend. And that's pretty much the flow. So let's get into it. Now lying down on your back, and I'll make the assumption that maybe you're trying this in your bed, but if you're joining me on the floor, that's perfectly fine. You're gonna hug both knees into the chest, and as you exhale, lower the knees down to the left side of your body. As you inhale, draw the knees back up to center. As you exhale, lower the knees down to the right side of the body. As you inhale, draw the knees back up to center. As you exhale, lower the knees down to the left side. As you inhale, draw the knees back up to center. As you exhale, lower the knees down to the right side. As you inhale, draw the knees back up to center. As you exhale, lower the knees down to the left side. As you inhale, draw back up to center. Now, inhale, hug the knees into the chest. And as you exhale, stretch the left leg out onto the floor or your bed. As you inhale, hug the right knee into the chest. And as you exhale, draw the right knee across the body to the left side. And we're gonna pause and hold here for three breaths. So here's the inhale and the exhale. And the inhale and the exhale. And the inhale and the exhale. Now inhale, bring the right knee back up to center. Stretch the right leg out onto the bed and exhale, hug the left knee in towards the chest. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, twist the left knee to the right side, and we hold again for the three breaths, inhaling, and then exhaling, and then inhaling, and then exhaling, and then inhaling, and then exhaling. And as you inhale, bring the knee back up to center, and exhale, hug both knees into the chest. Now roll off to your side and you're going to come to sitting on the edge of your bed or sit up into a chair or a stool as I'm doing. Now with your hips on the front edge of the chair, stretch both legs out in front of you, flexing the feet with the feet touching. And inhale, lift the chest and then exhale, hinging right at the top of the thighs, fold forward into a seated version of Paschimottanasana. And then we inhale and we exhale. And we inhale and we're holding for five breaths here and we exhale. And then we inhale and we exhale. And then we inhale and then we exhale. And then we inhale and then we exhale. And then on the next inhale, slowly draw back up to center and bend your right knee and let it shift out to the side slightly. As you take the next inhale, lengthen the spine, 
and as you exhale, a little twist towards that left leg and fold forward. Now this, as you inhale and hold for five breaths again, is a variation on Arkana Asana, which is archer's pose, exhaling, and then inhale. And to finish that, it also can be looked at as being like John Yushur Shasana, a variation of John Yushur Shasana, exhaling. Inhale, we have three more breaths, and exhale and inhale and exhale and then inhale and exhale good and on this inhale draw back up to center as you exhale bend the left knee place the foot on the floor and stretch the right leg out onto the ground flex the foot spread the toes and inhale lift up through the crown of the head lengthening the body and as you exhale little turn towards that right leg and fold forward and again we hold for the five breaths so that's the inhale now and then the exhale and then the inhale and the exhale and the inhale and the exhale and the inhale and the exhale. Last breath coming up. Inhaling and then exhaling. And now on this inhale slowly draw back up to center and as you exhale bend the right knee. Now our next pose is a seated Garudasana. So we actually without the arm movement we're going to do a twist in it. So you're going to take that right leg and wrap it over the left. Now really think about wrapping from the back of the sacral region as if the outer hips were trying to cross over each other to cross the legs. Now you're welcome to hook the toes behind, but I find in the morning just hugging the shins towards each other is actually much easier and very productive. And then you inhale, sit tall, and exhale, pause. We have two more breaths like that. Inhale, sit and tall, exhale. And you're gonna inhale, sit tall, and exhale. And now as you inhale, take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. And as you exhale, turn from the left ribs into the right shoulder to twist the chest open. Right hand can go wherever it would like behind you for support. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, it's three breaths, so we have two more. Inhaling and exhaling. And then inhaling and exhaling. And it's an inhale to lengthen and as you exhale you unwind and release the right leg. Inhale, prepare yourself as you exhale wrap from the hips to cross the left leg over the right and as you inhale hug the shins towards each other, lift the chest, sit up tall and exhaling. Two more breaths. Inhaling and exhaling and then inhaling and exhaling. Good, and as you inhale, take the right hand to the outside of the left thigh and exhale from the right ribs, turn into the left shoulder. And again, the left hand goes behind you wherever is comfortable for support. And exhale. And now inhale, and there was an applied inhale in there. And exhale. And that means we really only have one more breath left. Inhale and exhale. Now in, I sit up tall, and as you exhale, unwind back to center and release the left leg. And now we come to standing. I kind of do this with a little bit of enthusiasm and a very silent prayer of thank you to myself. And as I inhale, I open the arms and the chest, and I just kind of expand. It kind of feels like it wants to go to the back bend. And you can take an extra breath here if you like, but on an exhale, you put the hands on the hips. And as you inhale, you stretch the chest open and go into a little standing back bend, which is already starting to want to occur. As you exhale, you pause. And then as you inhale, you lengthen the back of the body, contract the belly, and come back up to neutral, releasing the hands into Tadasana. And then that's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now you just go about your day. It's a beautiful way to wor warm up the back, open up the hips, and expand the body to get going. And I have to admit, it's a nice flow to do even during the day or right before you go to bed.
Now, if you try it before bed, you might go in the reverse order. Stand uh, with the standing and then the seated and then ending up in the bed doing the twists because that way you finish up right in the spot where you can go to sleep. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you find this tweak brings more fluid motion to your body and helps enliven your mind. For more inspirational words of wisdom and other tips, tricks, and general news, check out our Instagram page at Om Fitness Yoga or on Facebook at Om Fitness and Yoga. Until next week, be excellent to one another and have an amazing day.